I've made some really neat rings on the lathe before, and I've got a video up on how to do that. But we're going to make one on the CNC machine, on a regular three-axis inexpensive CNC machine. These are samples, Corian samples. I picked up a bunch on eBay. They're pretty cheap. Wood tools will cut this just fine. So let's get going on that using free software and our little CNC. Making rings in Inkscape for a little CNC is it's really easy and it's really cool. So the first thing we're going to do is grab our circle tool, hold down the control button, and make our ring. This is going to be the outside dimensions of our ring. And I found in Inkscape and the way this all kind of works together that 0.85 is roughly a size 8. And you can adjust accordingly, do some tests to see exactly where that falls. But that's what I found here. So we're going to center this in our screen so Inkscape can keep everything nice and nice and lined up. Go to Object, Align and Distribute. We're going to use these two tools right here. That lines it up perfectly. Now we need to define our inside inside shape and the inside circle is going to be a pocket. So while that's still highlighted, we're going to edit, copy, and edit paste. We're going to make this a little bit smaller by holding down the control button and making that a little bit tighter. And this is just individual preference for how thick you want the ring to be. So make this a little bit smaller. And again, this could be eyeballed, but since the tool is here, might as well use it. And then it's perfectly lined up. So this is our ring. So we're going to group these two together and move this up to the top cutting area. And with Inkscape, you zoom in and zoom out just by the plus button and the minus button. It's nice and easy. So this is going to be our pocket. This is going to be our outside diameter. And we need to do a couple tabs here. Let's make this a different color so they stand out. We've got two of these. So this guy's going to go there. And this one's going to go on the inside. And we don't want this to touch the inside ring because again this will be a pocket, this will just be dug out. And these two will hold the side. So we'll save this as an SVG and open it up in Inkscape. Or open it up in JS Cut rather. Okay, we've opened up JS Cut. Let's open up our saved file. Here's our design that we did in Inkscape. We'll leave the cut speed at 40 here. We could go a little quicker. For the Corian and my end mills, I'm not going to push that too hard. Pass depth, kind of shave off a little bit, bit each time. Won't go too deep. We're going to leave this at a 1 8 inch cutter. And then we're going to do our outside cut first. Outside. And this individual tile is about 0.45 inches, a little less than half an inch. I want to make sure this goes, goes through and it can go into the spoil board. So we're going to make sure that goes through. There's our outside. Then we're going to do our pocket. Do a new operation. Pocket. We want this to also go the same depth through. This will make sense when we do the simulation in just a second. So here's the inside pocket, and here's the outside cut. Click on our tabs. I usually make the tab cut about half of what our main cut is, or our outside cut is. So these are 
transform, then we go to simulate, and you can see the way this looks. It should make sense at this point. So here's our tab, tabs on both sides. This is our ring. And this is showing blue here, but the actual Corian ends a little bit above here. So we're running the pocket straight through to the spoil board so it frees up the bottom as well as cutting it on the outside. These are very fast cuts, the rings are very small. So 347 seconds, pretty short. So we're going to save this, save our code, and open it up and mock. Got our little tile screwed down, just drilled a hole in each corner, and we've got that tightened down. We have our tile set up, everything zeroed out in mock, ready to roll. Turn the spindle on, spindle's on, click start. Starting our pocket. Cut out. Let's move the CNC out of the way. And we'll go inside and take a look. And there's our little ring. You can see those two tabs. the ring. So for cutting those tabs I use the scroll saw and we'll separate this. We've got the scroll saw set up we'll just cut off these two tabs. So two quick cuts. We've got a rough ring here. As far as the cleanup goes this is the way I've been handling it. Got these sanders these are really cheap really useful things for the drill press and if you don't put the sanding paper on this rubber can be used for lots of good hold downs so we'll put this on we'll tighten this up a little bit which will give a little bit of a belly to the rubber and that'll hold that and then we can sand off and finish the sides so we've expanded this a little bit by tightening down that nut this is held on here nice and nice and snug so we'll finish off the sides with some rough sandpaper and then move to a smoother finish. And that's the Victorian ring. Really easy to do. Comes out kind of neat. These Corian sample tiles are really cheap. Kind of neat. Thanks very much for taking a look.